Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah ama ba'ad My dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu The topic of this video is um, you know, something quite unfortunate and something quite difficult to discuss on, on this channel inshallah and I know from past experience you know, talking about topics like this often ruffle a few feathers but you know, I want to begin this video by saying that I'm not accusing any one individual and I'm also not giving any nasiha, I'm not giving any advice that I don't wish to take for myself, that I, that I think I am excused from. But whether we like it or not, despite the videos that I've made on my channel, despite the work of amazing organisations, despite the work of other people who create more and better content than myself and have a far bigger audience than myself, speaking out against it, people disrespecting other people's tribes and people politicising tribalism and people trying to further their own political means through tribalism or, or trying to put themselves above someone else through tribal terms is something rife in my audience and and what you might say to me you know Sam you're not a Somali well, how is it your business well it, it's my business because I'm married into you because I'm married into you guys so like it is a little bit my business my son is the child from from you guys and um, and then m more importantly than that even if I wasn't even if I wasn't if it's a matter concerning the Muslims and what pleases Allah Azza wa Jal, as somebody who has a little, has a small audience and someone who wishes to give some sort of da'wah, give some sort of nasiha, it is very, very much my business. And despite people both within the Somali community and outside of the community speaking out about this, it's still something rife. It's still something rife within the community. But for those of you who are invested in the idea of qabil, for those of you who are invested in it and think that one qabil is better than another, it's very ironic actually, it's almost poetic in that actually the tribe that accuses the other tribe a lot or the tribe that wishes to put themselves above another tribe by saying nasty things about another tribe or a tribe that will wish to backbite against another tribe the poetry of it is and the irony of it is is that the worst tribe is the one that does that but think about that for a second inshallah you expose yourself as being the worst tribe in the eyes of Allah Azza wa Jal by being one who accuses and says evil things about another tribe simply because they're from another tribe. Allah Azza wa says in the Quran in regards to backbiting and the, and the people who backbite as well, he says would, you, would it please you, would you love to, to eat the flesh of your dead brother? Of course you would hate it, of course it would be something that you would hate. So the people who go out of their way who go out of their way to backbite and slander against other tribes simply because they're from another tribe, you are the ones who eat the flesh of your dead brother. You are the ones who are backbiting. And you know, it's, it's well known in the religion that, you know, it's, it's well known there's authentic evidence from hadith that suggest, that says that, you know, the, the, the one who you backbite against, on the day of judgment, they will get your good deeds. You know, a, a portion of your good deeds will go to them. You know, there's, a, there's a very famous story of um, Sheikh Hassan al-Basri, where uh, he heard that there was a man who was backbiting against him. And um, Sheikh Hassan al-Basri made him a present and went and gave him the present because it was like that man who was backbiting against him was just giving him his good deeds. And Sheikh Hassan al-Basri saw it as something that, that he was happy about. And he, he gave the man a present to say, you know, thank you for giving me all of your good deeds. So even so, if you're in social media or if you're in the, the real space or whatever and you, you hear people talking about your qabil or you hear people trying to put themselves above you because of their qabil, just say, thank you for your good deeds. Thank you for your good deeds on your muqiyama. Thank you for filling up my pile of hasanats for me. You know, I think it would be a really beautiful thing if we, if, we, if we shared this video or shared the sentiment within it, even if you didn't share it from my channel, that it would be understood among the Muslims at large, not, not just the Somali community, but if it was understood by the Muslims at large, that as soon as you were to see someone backbiting against you personally or against your tribe or, or against whatever group that you're from or your clan or whatever, or your ethnicity even, for us to have an understanding among the Muslims of you're only exposing how bad you are. It doesn't actually have any impact on how bad that tribe is. In fact, you know, as the point of this video is, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. By spewing things out of your mouth that are negative about another tribe, you only expose how evil you are yourself. And, and even by extension, if you're from a whole group who, you know, who, who make it a priority to, to talk about other tribes badly, you talk, you're only exposing how evil your own tribe is in the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal. So, so I think it should be... You know, we should make an effort to share this sentiment among the Muslims so that when we see it, we should just understand that it's something positive for us and it's something negative for them. 
you know, we'll end on reminding ourselves of a passage from Surah Al-Hujurat in the Qur'an. And really want to read these ayat from Surah Al-Hujurat. It's, it's ayat from 11 to 13. I don't know how the Somali community can't see themselves in it. I don't know how the Somali community can listen to this and not see how strongly it represents them and how strongly it is guidance for them, specific to our times, even though, you know, it, it, even though this didn't come down, even though the ayats that come after make it clear that it's come down to the Arabs, right? But like, but these, or, or the, desert Arab, uh, the desert Arabs that come after it, like, it's just so, it's just such clear guidance for the Somalis in our times who, who, who take Qabil more seriously than their religion. And of course, that's, you know, that's, that's very, very serious. That's a very, that's a very, very serious sin. So we'll end, inshallah, just by listening to these ayats from Surah Al-Hujurat. And, um, you know, I ask that you pay attention to them and listen to them and think, about, think how they apply to you and the, and the situation of, of other Somalis, inshallah. So, um, you know, the reason why I'm making this video today is because it's actually two years exactly today since I made my first video about my wife being from the best Qabil in Somalia. Of course, the point of that video is not that it's the best Qabil in Somalia, it's that... She's from the Ummah of Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. She's, she's one of the Muslims. That's the thing that's the most important, right? So it's exactly two years today. It was the 10th of March, 2015. It would have been when I made that first video. It was one of my first videos. And um, so I thought, two years today, we'll do the best tribe. And what exposes you for being the worst tribe? What exposes you for being the most wretched tribe? In the eyes of Allah, as I were jealous. So we'll end by listening to some of the, some of the verses of, um, from Surah Al-Hujurat. And, um, you know, if you, if you like this video, and I really hope you did, don't forget to like and share it. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. إنما المؤمنون إخوة إنما المؤمنون إخوة فأصلحوا بين أخويكم واتقوا الله واتقوا الله لعلكم ترحمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا يسخر قوم من قوم عسى أن يكونوا خيرا منهم ولا نساء من نساء عسى أن يكن عسى أن يكن خيرا منهن ولا تلمزوا أنفسكم ولا تنابزوا بالألقاب بئس الاسم الفسوق بعد الإيمان ومن لم يتب فأولئك هم الظالمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن إن بعض الظن إثم ولا تجسسوا ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتموه واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم خبير إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم خبير